Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to open a box from Knife Center. Today's opening device will be a classic, a Gerber Mark II, the original one from the Vietnam era. The Gerber Mark II is one of my favorite knives of all time for stabby knives. These are not what you would call useful knives in a modern context or in a utilitarian context, but they represent a lot of cool things about history. The Gerber Mark II is one of my favorite. This box should contain the predecessor to this knife, which isn't really useful, but it's super fun and everybody should know about them. Oh, very simple. I like it. Simple packaging, no fancy box, no nothing. Brown paper. Inside of our brown paper, we have a receipt and we have our item. Nerds of history will recognize this and this. Ra wrapped up in wax butcher paper, it looks like. Absolutely love it. Here's our knife. We don't need to fight with things. That's why knives were invented. Incline planes, one of the simplest tools in all of human history. Ah ha ha ha. Boom. That. Our Sheffield Sykes Fairbin Dagger. This knife represents a classic era of martial history in the modern world, adapted from something like medieval designs, like a bollocks dagger but meant just to be a super stabby, super light stiletto type blade. And I believe that is called a foil type handle or a ring foil type handle. I'm sure somebody will tell me the more accurate terms. This is a modern recreation. I ordered this like six months ago, but they didn't have stock. So I've just been waiting on it to show up. I believe the original had a slightly downed turned guard much like a original K-Bar did. The modern ones are flat, but it is super skinny, super pointy, and meant just for poking holes in items. The classic style sheath is minimal. The upper shape here seems to be a little bit different. I'm not sure which generation this style is based on. A classic historical design in a modern manufacturer. So this is the Sheffield SHE006 Fairbin Sykes British Commando Dagger 6 and 7 8 inch blade with a black blade and a leather sheath. Total cost was $74.95 plus taxes and shipping and everything was $90. I don't consider that expensive for something that will last most of human history. This will certainly last longer than I'm alive. Knives are one of the five basic things that built civilization, incline cutting planes and cutting tools. So I nerd out on all of them. Other cutting tools that absolutely everybody should know about are things like axes. The reason that you swing heavy clubs is because it gives you an ability to move these things well and to not injure yourself. Humans are endurance machines. And one of the things that we have learned to endure with is gripping things. Gripping knives, gripping axes, and gripping shovels. All of these things are things that everybody should possess and understand. And your basic level of fitness should be around being able to use these well. That means learning to move the way that they move. Just lifting barbells does not make you good at swinging axes. Swinging axes or lifting heavy clubs makes you good at swinging things like axes. That is the base level of human fitness. Knives are essential for civilization, whether they be for offense and defense like these knives, or whether they be utilitarian like this pocket knife with a single edge. Everybody should understand these things. The five C's of civilization. I originally learned this idea from Dave Canterbury of Self-Reliance Outfitters. Cutting tools, containers, combustion sources, cordage, and cover. I call these the five C's of civilization because if you go to any museum that represents any culture in all of human history, you will see those five things. Survival and civilization are all built on the same idea. Everybody should understand and possess knives in every way. Cutting knives, cooking knives, utility knives. And people should be familiar with things like fighting knives. 
because fitness should also be based on defense. And that doesn't just mean punching and kicking and wrestling. All predators in all of human history try to have force multipliers. So you should understand how these things are used and therefore you should possess them so that you can understand how they would be carried and how they work. Fitness is based on your control of levers and your ability to defend yourself. Everything else after that is secondary.